Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today you're looking at your doggy and that eyeball looks a little bit funny. You're thinking, what's wrong with my dog's eye? Today I'm gonna go over the four tests the veterinarian will do to help diagnose an eye problem. And these are the tests that you should expect to see them do. And when you tell them what they're gonna do ahead of time, you're gonna look crazy smart. Number one, a veterinarian may do a Schumer tear test. This is when they put a little bit of paper in your dog's eye, like under their eyelid, and there's little markers on it. When the tears collect on it, it will move across the Schirmer tear test and tell us how much tears are in the eye. If the eye is dry, we can diagnose dry eye and treat that. If that happens when the glands don't produce enough tears, it's usually autoimmune, the eye gets really dry and red and goopy and gross, and you need meds to treat the dry eye. Number two, a veterinarian may do some tonometry. They may check pressures of the eye. This can look for glaucoma, high pressures, or intraocular pressures. It can also test for low pressures like uveitis or inflammation in the eye. This can be done with a tonovet or a tonopin. Both are great and will check pressures just like when you go to the eye doctor, a little puff of air goes in your cornea. Same thing, really fast, easy to do. Now, the next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna do a fluorescein test. The fluorescein allows us to stain the eye and see if there's any damage to the cornea. Fluorescein covers the cornea. If there's any damage to the eye, it leaks into the stroma and it dyes it a green color. Using a light, we can see it. And if there is damage to the eye, well then yeah, let's treat it guys with an antibiotic and maybe some eye lubrication to prevent infection and damage to the cornea beyond the current damage that we have. You know what I love to do? I love to use some poparacaine to numb the eye. Once the eye is numb, I will then take a Q-tip and I will swab the upper eyelid, the lower eyelid, and behind the third eyelid. This is paramount, guys. I can't tell you how many times I've removed foreign body, foreign material from the dog's eye. You need to do this because if you miss something in the eye, you will develop a chronic eye issue and you didn't do the dog any good by not looking by not fixing the problem, yeah. Anyway guys, I'm Dr. Dan. Those are my four things all veterinarians should do to make sure the eye is happy and healthy. Hope it was crazy helpful. And when you walk in there, act smart, cause you are. You should say, hey, are you gonna do uh, the shimmer tear test first, followed by maybe some tonometry and some fluorescein, and should you like, like, probe the eye a little bit, put some preparacaine in there? Yeah, go for it. You're gonna look awesome. As always, guys, hope you, hope your doggies, your kitties, any four-legged creatures that live or share your house with you are happy and healthy, happy and healthy, and I hope you guys are too. You guys take care. Bye.